Our scripture reading today is taken in Romans 10 verse 13. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The RMS Titanic luxury steamship sank in the early hours of April the 15th, 1912, off the coast of Newfoundland in the North Atlantic. There were 2,240 passengers and crew on board, and 1,500 people <coughs> lost their lives. There was an inadequate number of lifeboats to save the people. When this luxury liner was built in Horned and Wolf in Belfast, the Titanic was 882.5 feet long, 92.5 feet wide, and weighing 52,000 tonnes. White watertight compartments, and some even claimed the Titanic was unsinkable. However, she struck an iceberg, which opened a huge gap in her side, and in a very short time sank. Many millionaires were on board, and they had to leave all their possessions. They took nothing with, with them. The ship was heard to play a hymn, Nearer my God to thee, nearer to thee. The gambling and the drinking and the dancing had stopped. The reality of what was happening started to dawn upon the people's hearts and minds. Death was coming, and apart from those women and children who filled the lifeboats, I am sure many called upon the name of the Lord for God's salvation. God's lifeboat is still available to get into right now. This old world is sinking in sin, and yet there is plenty of room in God's lifeboat if people would only come. Don't worry if you're rich or poor, what colour of skin you have. All may come, for Jesus has died. The lifeboat is the Lord Jesus Christ, and he stands with his arms open wide to rescue you. That night on the Titanic, there were many who were saved, and there were many who were lost. As you listen to this wee message today, you are either saved or lost. The saved are those who have received the Lord Jesus into their hearts and, and lives, and those who are lost have never taken that step yet. Why not be wise today? Go in for God's salvation. The light boat is waiting. Don't miss it. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. May the Lord bless his word to all our hearts for his name's sake. Amen.